This is experiment four, pressure measurement. The goal here is to learn how pressure transducers and board on tube gauges can be used to measure pressure and also to learn how to calibrate a pressure transducer with a dead weight tester. First, let's take a look at the equipment we're going to be using. Here is the dead weight tester. As you can see, on top of the dead weight tester, coupled through a tube, is the board on tube gauge and a pressure transducer. One of the first things that needs to be done is to connect the wires of the pressure transducers to the Agilent 34972A data acquisition system. At your station, you will find instructions for the wire connections. Use those to connect the pressure transducer and excitation voltage to the data logger. Now we're going to take the top card from the back of the Agilent by pulling it out as shown. Make sure the power supply is unplugged before wiring the sensor. Take the cover off and make connections to channel 1 and channel 2 following the instructions. Take care not to force the screws while doing this. Then after you connect the wires, you want to route the cables through the card so they come out the exit and put the cover back on. With the cover back on, reinsert the card into the Agilent, making sure it locks. Now we're ready to prepare the dead weight tester. With no weight added, crank the hand wheel so the board on gauge reads about 10 psi. Give the weight platform a gentle push and a short spin. You can see that the platform is in equilibrium position between the top and the bottom of its travel. If the weight platform moves to the extreme bottom or the top of its travel, then you need to slowly adjust the hand wheel until it is in the equilibrium position. This may not be where the gauge reads 10 psi. Remember, we are calibrating the board on gauge against the standard of the dead weight tester. Now, make sure the Agilent is on and the power supply is plugged in. Move to the computer and use the Excel spreadsheet titled Lab 4 Pressure Calibration Agilent version 1.1. When it opens, make sure to enable the macros. Now look at the data spreadsheet, taking note of all the column headings. True pressure, board on gauge, pressure transducer voltage, and excitation voltage. You will manually record the true pressure, which is that which is represented by the weights, and the board on tube pressure, which you read off the gauge as you go along. Then, to get the computer to take the transducer voltages, you highlight the cell where you want to record the readings and press Do One Scan Now button to take data from the data logger. Now we are ready to calibrate the pressure transducer and the board on tube gauge. To proceed with the experiment, you will add the weights in 10 pound intervals so you can calibrate the pressure transducer and the board on tube gauge. You will go up to 100 pounds and back down to 10 pounds.